Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey there, fossil fanatics. Let's dive into the world of dinosaurs, the terrible lizards, worth terrifyingly huge amount of knowledge. Get ready for an adventure that starts millions of years ago, a time of giant reptiles, absurdly long names, and a total absence of pizza. Our story rolls into action when paleontologists, also known as fossil fiddlers or prehistoric puzzle solvers, started playing detectives with fossils. They dig up, dust off, and study these bone-dry clues to life's long-lost chapters. This isn't about beating high scores on a video game, folks. It's about passion, endurance, and the American spirit of seeking and discovery. Intrigue time. Dinosaurs are also known as A. Big lizards, or B. Terrible lizards. Yes. You guessed it right, dinosaurs are known as terrible lizards. Well done. All right, life in the fossil lane again. Digging up fossils isn't for the weak. It requires serious dedication and an adventurous spirit. From Utah's dusty deserts to South Dakota's roaring rivers, these stubborn scientists are merrily cracking rocks and stirring dust, all in the name of unearthing history. Once they unearth a fossil and piece it together like a jigsaw puzzle, one without a helpful picture on the box, they get the privilege to name it. From Tyrannosaurus rex, the king of the tyrant lizards, to Triceratops, the dental champion with around 800 teeth, the fossils are as unique as the names they bear. Pop quiz number two, Triceratops had how many teeth? A, 8, B, 80, C, 800, or D? No teeth? You said 800, yes? Absolutely right, very well done. Getting back to the story, we have creatures like velociraptors, turkey-sized ninjas with feathers, and winged reptiles that could fly without feathers. There's an Ankylosaurus who knew how to take a stand, quite literally by using its tail for protection. Truly, size didn't matter in the dino world. It's survival that counted. Way back then, all of our continents were a big, happy family called Pangaea and dinosaurs like proper globetrotters roamed freely. Then things got lit, not in a good way. Theories indicate either an OMG that's ginormous asteroid or volcanic activity caused the entire Earth to go into a nuclear winter, making most life extinct. Here's come the last question. What made the Earth to go into a nuclear winter? A, ginormous asteroid or volcanic activity. B, Aliens made the winters. Did you say ginormous asteroid or volcanic activity made the Earth go into a nuclear winter, making most life extinct? You're right. Very well done. So we've sewn together millions of years of history, knit the tales of ancient creatures, and woven in a joke or two. Remember, in every bone we unearth, every fossil we piece together, and every dinosaur name we struggle to pronounce, we're celebrating resilience exploration, ingenuity, and a good old sense of humor. So get out there, my curious scientists. Maybe even find your own dino inspiration. Remember, the past might be stone cold, but the future is in your hands. And here's one last giggle before we shuffle off. Why don't dinosaurs ever forget? Because no one ever tells them anything. You're welcome, fossil fanatics. This is another video brought to you by Goalie, the best kid's tablet. My mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.